Longford Town boss Neil Fenn joins me at the City Corner Stadium. A 2 1 win over Galway United in the first division. Neil, I think it's fair to say your team dominated the first half, could have been further ahead at the break, but in the second, uh, Galway really put your team under pressure and we're looking for an equaliser late on there. Yeah, I thought the, the, the first half an hour, I thought we were, we, were, we were very, very good. Scored two fantastic goals, missed another couple of chances, and then in the last 15 minutes of the first half, they started pressing us a lot higher and we, we kept getting caught on the ball again like we did in, in, in their place and um, we got ourselves in a bit of trouble, come out in the second half and just continued really in the same vein, just continued to, to try and overplay and, and take too many touches in our own half and getting caught all the time. Why do you think that was? Why do you think your team couldn't manage that situation for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe just get their foot on the ball, slow it down? Was it just one of them things where the opposition get on top and pressure makes you force you into mistakes? Yeah, I think so. I think they, you know, they're a good a good team, I think, a well coached and a good young team that, that never stop and, and know what they're good at. And they were good at putting us under pressure, second balls and, and, and pressing us. And, and they did that very well um, for the second half. But we have to be better than that. We've got to learn that you can't play through the middle every single time and you can't take four, five, six touches on it all the time. Sometimes it has to be one touch, move the ball quickly, like we did in the first half. I don't think they could live with us in the first half an hour, but second half we take too many touches, it invites pressure, invites pressing, and it's difficult to get going again. Were you disappointed with the manner your team conceded the goal? Maybe you have a different view to myself, but it looked like Lee Stacey could have been a bit quicker off the line. I didn't really see it. I just saw that, I thought it was a foul on Mick first, um, from, from their forward, who in my opinion was fouling a lot, and we never seemed to get a free kick. And then it, it looked like the ref was going to, and then another, another challenge, it looked like the ref was going to blow, so I thought, okay, we're getting a free kick, kind of took my eye off it. And he kind of, I felt anyway from where I was that he'd, he'd given an advantage, but we didn't have the ball. And it got lobbed over the top, and I think it's one of them where to keep Lee's thinking we've got the ball and he's in a little bit of no man's land. I won't blame me for that. No. And uh, two very good team, uh, excuse me, two very good goals for your team uh, in the first half. Was it just a little bit disappointing they couldn't get on and get another and kill the game off totally before half time? Yeah, it's very disappointing when you score more goals. Just, you, you always want to win 3 4 5 nil. It makes it easier for the last 10 15 minutes. But we, we, we had a couple of half chances in the second half, not great chances, um, and we had to grind it out in the end, but you know, the way we are at the moment, the way the league is, you'll take any win at the moment. If you listen to the pundits, they seem to feel that there's a lack of goals coming from the off of this season. Would you agree or disagree? I think the facts are there. We're, we're, we're probably not getting enough goals, um, and it's hard to argue that. We, we, you know, if you look at the league table, probably the lowest scoring at the top, five or six, but... Um, I wouldn't say it's because we, we, you know, we, we, we're a defensive team, certainly not, it's just we're not putting the ball away. Aaron Dobbs came off at half time, was that tactical or an injury? No, he came off, he got a, I don't know if you saw it in the first half, he got a, a whack in the back and um, gave him a little bit of whiplash and, and it was, was a bad challenge in my opinion, but the ref just, just saw it as a foul and, um, and he had to come off because of that. Wexford at home here on Saturday, um, obviously Wexford. Probably at the start of the season, people felt they'd be down towards the bottom. Now that is the case, but if you just look at their results in recent weeks, they've only been going down by the odd goal to some of the bigger sides in the division. So a very tough game coming up. Yeah, again, like a broken record, but they're all tough. It's going to be another tough game here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought it's going to be dissimilar to tonight. I think it's probably, you know, going to be quite similar where we're going to have to be under a little bit of pressure for a while. But it's how we, it's how we play against them, how we open them up if they come in to defend, and um, and dealing with their, their two good strikers. And obviously not wanting to look too far ahead, but you have Bray then away before the break. Is this a good little mini set of fixtures now, maybe looking at getting 9 from 9 before the break and, and going into the break then? And maybe you said last week you may, may look to bring in additions, just get a bit of momentum going and put pressure on the team's head. Yeah, we're, we're trying to, you know, you, know, you, always, you always go out to try and get maximum points. Um, obviously, Wexford at home sounds like uh, that we should win it, but like I've said to everybody in there and, uh, and everyone else, that there's no guineas in this league, you have to work for it. Like today showed, if we play like we did in the first half an hour again, you know, we, we, we've got every chance. Bray away is going to be difficult again, we all know that. Um, Bray, probably, their results are not, not showing how good they are on their day, so that would be another tough game, especially with them at home.